I'm Wade, and this is the JHS Muflata, or Muflata, or Mufaleta. It's hard to know. I looked up the Wikipedia page on the sandwich that it's named after, and there were eight different pronunciations listed. It just depends on where in Louisiana you're from. But Muflata was one of them, and since this is a petal with a lot of big muffs inside, that's what we're going with. So, just like a classic big muff, you've got volume, tone, sustain. Nothing really to explain there, except you've got possibly more high end than you really would on a muff if you go past noon here. Um, except you've got this fancy switch. Now, this switch tells a series of internal switches what to do. And as you rotate through these six positions, those switches jump around and something like 20 different parts move every time you turn this. And all of a sudden, you've got six different, well, five different classic big muffs and JHS's updated version on top of that. So my guess is, well I know it's all analog signal path, but my guess is the controls are digital and that allows them to manipulate the circuit and your signal path in such a way that you can just get a lot more out of it than you would ever be able to fit in a tiny box like this. But your signal path stays analog, which is vitally important for the big muff tone. And this thing does it. Sounds great. All right, so let's just get into it because it's going to take a little bit of time to explain and uh, I don't want this to be a 32 minute demo. Okay, this is going to take a couple minutes to get through because we have six settings. I'm going to tell you what I know as we go through them and then I'm going to go through them each rapidly so you can hear them side by side. Tone, volume, sustain, just like a classic big muff. The Civil War muff uh, had less gain and more mid-range. There's not many of these things around. They came out in the early 90s. I don't think there were ever many of them. Uh, they were blue and gray, which is where they get that name, but the paint flaked off real bad. So in addition to just not holding up that well and there not being a ton of them, if you do find one, you're going to pay for through the nose for it if it's good looking. Uh, should set a little more closer to a distortion than you think about with a newer muff. <laughs> If you think about uh, a big muff signal as being a very wide signal, the Russian lops a couple inches off each side to make a more focused, squashed, dark sound. Um, less clarity, less low end, uh, and very good for bass. I always like these things because you can do some real burly, dark kind of sounds with it. This is the Pi setting. This is not the NYC reissue. This is a classic Big Muff Pi sound. This is what people are thinking about when they talk about uh, vintage Big Muffs. Now, the thing about this was, I've owned a few of them, is from model to model, uh, or I mean, even in the same model from day to day, probably even on the same day from unit to unit, they sounded very different. Uh, so you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on maybe getting a dud. So the Pi is a more aggressive sound than most muffs. The Triangle, the version 1 Big Muff. Uh, this thing is famously used by David Gilmour, though honestly he used all of these at one point or another. It's supposed to be articulate with more low-end response, 
And just a little trivia, people think about this being the first Big Muff, but it wasn't. It's just the first one that was mass produced and still hanging around. There was like this weird square unit little box thing. You could actually connect them together by a quarter inch jacks. It was weird. head. If you hear people talking about the violet ram's head, this is what they're looking for. This is a very classic tone. It was used by David Gilmour uh, for a lot of solos. Pairs very well with delay. Scooped mids, darker tone, less gain. <laughs> JHS 2015 is not the mod that they've been doing to Big Muffs for years. It's an update. Uh, they say it's more powerful, less compressed. What I hear is a harmonically rich mid-range and a more open sounding muff. <laughs> say that one is very very usable so let's dime the sustain let's turn the tone back a little bit for kind of a classic sound and let's just run through them real quick <laughs> hot sandwich box today. Also, if you'll go to the store at beardtone.com, you can get the latest in bearded toned technology. This coffee cup came standard in black with white and a picture of my face. And on this side, it says, good at beards, okay at guitar. And in here is where the liquid goes. Sounds delicious. I'm completely listener supported, except I haven't really broken even yet, so I don't know how supported I am. <laughs> Let's give this a go, see what happens here. <laughs> 